Hello and welcome back to another video of signing with Constant Surfrain with the line of Hyrule speaking. Last time we were playing, we managed to learn how, or start learn start to learn how to harness um, the power of the dragon with Yuma. And we are now going to be heading back into uh, town to go see what the next um, we can do to help um, Yuma out is. So let's go. Burrows. Okay. All right, let's go see what the boss wants. So before I do that. So we This one big circle. Excuse me. I heard you were calling for me, Father. What is it? Yeah, it's up. We've just received an urgent message from Captain Leston, the commander of the Elven Knights from Wellant. Mm hmm. It sounds like he's seeing a lot of Imperial activity in Claval Cracks. You think that sounds bad. For an attack? We can't say for certain. But it sounds like another group of Welland team knights are locked in a standoff in the mountains to the east. We're worried the Empire might try to catch them in a pincer strike. But the knights can't risk an immediate maneuver. Pincer strikes, huh? Those suck. So, I would have your team move in and strike before the enemy can finish their preparations. I understand. Where is That's the enemy fine. based? The commander will brief you himself. Sir Leston, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. Allow me. Hello, Leston. For this operation, I ask that you look to Sir Lesting for further instructions. Good luck to you all. Thanks. Yes, Father. You can count on me. By your leave, Your Majesty. <clears throat> now, our circumstances are as follows. Lesting, my man! Long time no see! 
Magnum. Still alive, I see. Jeez, man. Cold as ice. Is that any way to greet an old buddy? I was not summoned for my proficiency in greetings, Agnum. I am here to conduct a war. You two are the same as ever, huh? There's something weirdly comforting about it. Yeah. Ah, Sonia. You seem likewise unchanged. <laughs> Even humans can't change in just a couple months. Oh, but there is something I should mention. We have a new friend with us. Let me introduce you to Yuma. Yuma, this is Leston. Nice to meet you. Yuma? So, you're the one. You're the vessel of the Shining Dragon, then. I would speak plainly with you. The Shining Dragon's power is a double-edged sword. If wielded improperly, it could just as easily destroy the world as save it. All right. So next time we're going to listen to more of Lustin's battle plan. Welcome back to another video. Last time we were playing, we are now are going to pick up on listening to uh, Lustin. We got summoned by Burroughs to talk about a war strategy of to take out some Imperials on, in some mountains to the east. So Leston is going to give us our battle strategy. Speak. Are you capable of controlling that power? Oh, I, I, um. Well, that hardly inspires confidence. Barely an answer at all. Then let me make myself clear. If you ever lose control of your power, I will kill you myself. That's not nice. You seem surprised. If you pose that much of a threat to your own allies, isn't it natural that you should be eliminated? Brother. Speak, Kirika. I will allow no more disrespect to his radiance. I spoke with no disrespect. It was a statement of fact and nothing more. I've opposed using the Shining Dragon's power from the very beginning. You know this. I do, and my feelings remain unchanged. His radiance will save Astoria. I'm sure of it. So, Lester and Karika are brothers. Or, are siblings. Well, excuse me. back to the matter at hand. If you examine this map, you'll note the enemy is gathering at this point in the cracks. I see. All right. If it's around there, I think we can drive them back. They won't cause your unit any trouble. Our lives are in your hands. We must avoid an ambush from the rear flank at all costs. Now, I should be going. My presence is needed on the front lines. Thanks, Lustin. Leave the rest to us. We'll be setting out immediately. He'll kill me? He talks like I don't already know the Shining Dragon is dangerous, but no, I have to show him I can control it. If I work hard and train myself, I know I can do it. All right. Hey, Agnum. Wow. 
or stupidity. Take a little bit of a rest. Actually, before I do that, I wanted to do one thing more. Come take a look. sleep. Yo, Yuma. All good? You holding up over there? Just wanted to do a quick check-in with Agnum. Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you, Agnum? Oh, I'm always at the top of my game. Why do you look so down? Come on, we partners gotta get each other fired up. Do I look down? I feel pretty normal. Wait, when did we become partners? I mean, we're a little closer compared to when we first met, but... Don't overanalyze it! If we can tell what the other's thinking just by looking at them, that makes us partners. Just by looking? <laughs> That's quite an idea. What's so funny? Body language is powerful stuff. Sorry. So, partners, huh? I kind of like the sound of that. It might be a bit early to say it now, but I think we'll get to that point eventually. Of course. We're going to be buddies before you know it. I can tell. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it, Agnum. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. You could use a little more hype, but don't worry. That's what I'm here for. Extrovert okay, much? We're going to push you all the way to the top. See ya. Agnum's always so energetic. Partners, huh? I hope we can really be that close someday. Should do it for me uh, this time next 
uh, next time we will next time we play we will um, continue uh, the story and we'll um, scout the crags go pick some flowers and take out some pick up some statue relics I guess you'd call them so yeah next bet that will all happen next time on shadow or on shining reconnaissance refrain thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content um and this has been lion of i rule and i 